Mass production calls for automation, which may or may not be what we've got here. Is this or is this not a robot? Honeywell Controls, the giant computer firm, present what they call a lifelike girl robot. But watch this demonstration carefully. Closing that door to rig up the robot is suspicious. Is this computerized control or is it a conjuring trick? The robot is called Miss Honeywell, presented as the ultimate in automation, the human tronic saleswoman of tomorrow. At the Instruments, Electronics and Automatic Exhibition at Olympia, she, or it, or maybe he, had the boffins bewildered. Study Miss Honeywell yourself. Animal, vegetable or mineral, science or science fiction. Whatever else she may be, Miss Honeywell pulls in the crowds, even at a refined exhibition which only the top technicians can begin to comprehend. Honeywell's own spokesman says he himself doesn't know if this is electronic or mechanical or human flesh. The compere of this show tells his audience that Miss Honeywell would make a good assistant to any sales manager. He, she or it replies, Assistant nothing, I'd make someone a very good wife. If he were a BSC and mechanically minded. All in a high pitched voice like one of the television Daleks. That man may give us a clue. He's just charged Honeywell Controls 2,000 pounds for bringing Miss Honeywell over here to do her tricks from Hollywood of all places. There's something fishy or fleshy about this show. Now what's the man's name? Mark Wilson. His Hollywood firm's called Magical Productions and he himself used to be a conjurer. Let's see what happens when Miss Honeywell is back in her cabinet. He can prove she's a genuine robot simply by taking her head off in the open. That's all he has to do. But oh no. He's closed the cabinet, he says, because there are delicate micro circuits, integrated digital logic nodules not to be disturbed. Well, he could have fooled me.